All right, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Piotr Szopiński. I am a vascular surgeon from Warsaw, Poland. I am the chief of the uh, vascular and endovascular clinic in Warsaw. Excellent. So, um, why are you a member of ISIS? Uh, for me, it's uh, a privilege to be a member of such an organization. And uh, the, the main thing is that organization that collaborates with uh, different societies, uh, vascular surgeons, radiologists and cardiologists. And it's absolutely different than in any other organization that are trying to move forward separately. Uh, it's the same also in my country, uh, but I'm trying to do harder and working on a different ways uh, with, with my team and in my institution uh, the radiologists and the vascular surgeons are working together and we are trying to do all procedure together or separately. It, it, it doesn't matter for us. The patient is most important for, for everyone. That's, that's why the idea of society uh, is uh, so important. The other reason is uh, uh, I love the new technology and I'm looking forward to bring some new ideas to my country as well. Uh, my first, uh, my first uh, experience with the Vascular Technique was over 20 years before, so uh, I had a chance to look at it during history. Excellent. So, um, what would you say to uh, new members of ISIS what, to encourage them? Well, there is a, a big chance, for, especially for young surgeons uh, in my country and in Eastern Europe, because uh, there is no too many places to train uh, a new specialist in, uh, in this area. Because, uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, there are some in between the specialists, radiologists and surgeons and vascular surgeons and uh, there is no good opportunity, there is no uh, uh, too much centers when we can train uh, young surgeons, especially young surgeons. And uh, I, I believe that the idea of society of ESCS can, can bring uh, technology, and knowledge and experience to, to my country and to other countries uh, like Ukraine, uh, Russia, Belarus, and uh, we can move forward together to do some centers of, let's say, excellence uh, in Poland and spread the idea of ESS uh, not only in my country but to the Eastern Europe. Great. So, uh, is this? Have you been to endovascular summits before? Sorry. Have you been to an endovascular summit before? Oh, yes, certainly. It's my third or fourth. I, I, for the first time, I've been in Buenos. And then uh, in Russia, in Split. Uh, this year, I've been visiting Porto Rosh, and it's my fourth. All right. Unfortunately, I couldn't go to Sydney last year because of terrible winter storm in Europe. So I lost my tickets and an opportunity for me there. So what, what, what is it about the endovascular summit that you like? Sorry? What do you like about the endovascular summit? Like what brings you back? Oh, it's, a, it's a great idea. It's absolutely different uh, meeting where uh, people can talk in a small community about the vascular and endovascular problems about their patients. They, um, extremely terrible cases, uh, uh, nightmare cases, and uh, uh, people around are very, very polite, and it's it's a great chance also for young for young people to have an opportunity to speak to such a great audience. The other reason that I love to come to some of these that in one place I can meet a great, really great people like Dr. Dietrich, Dr. Reicher, uh, Sean Paul, Frank Friado. By the way, I met uh, for my first time a uh, great idea of endovascular surgery in, in Paris during PCR in 19, 
1994 or five, I don't remember, when I bought my first uh, book of vascular surgery from Frank Criado with his dedication. Mm. It's uh, given me a, a chance, opportunity to, uh, to look forward to the idea of endovascular training. Well, great. Well, thank you for your time. We appreciate you talking to us today. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your endovascular summit. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.